Hey guys, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am on a journey to become a healthier version of myself. I don't have a particular number in mind when it comes to losing weight, but my goal is to use keto, low carb lifestyle to become a healthier version of who I am. So I did miss an upload last week. The last two weeks have been incredibly busy, but it, uh, good things, like good things have been happening. I just have not had time to sit down, record a video and update everybody. So today's video, I will just give you like a brief overview of how the last two weeks have gone and then I'll end with my weigh-in as always. The big thing that happened uh, last Saturday, so about a week ago, uh, I went on a giant epic bike ride here. I'm in the Midwest and it was this bike ride that took you through Amish country. We ended up doing a grand total of 27 miles. So yes, two years ago, if you've been following me at all for the last like two and a half years, I actually did a 50 mile bike ride. So for me doing a 27 mile bike ride was really, really cool. Don't get me wrong. But it was also like, yeah, I knew I could do it. There was no doubt in my mind that I'd be able to finish and I am very happy that I did it. It was like the best day you could have imagined in terms of just like weather and the people were awesome. It was a whole lot of fun. But after that, uh, we kind of went crazy. Um, <laughs> in terms of like diet and keto, that sort of went out the window. I wanted to have a good weekend. I wanted to have fun. So we ended up going out to this awesome bar and the bar was having this anniversary party and they had this theme where every hour they would change the cocktail menu to reflect a different decade. So when we first got there, it was like 60s style cocktails. And then after an hour, it switched to 70s. After an hour, it switched to 80s. And I'll just say we made it to the 2000s. So we were there for some time and I drank water in between. So I did not have a major hangover the next day, which is good. But uh, suffice it to say, you know, was not doing keto, but had a lot of fun, you know, going out and just like, just relaxing. The next day, Sunday also did not get right back on to the keto train. I ended up just kind of like snacking, had some chips and stuff, went to this dinner and they had these like pork sliders. And so I had some of those, uh, but Monday came and I was super determined to, to get back on the keto, you know, bandwagon train, whatever you call it. I knew that I needed to get right back to it because I woke up Monday you know, feeling some regret, like just feeling that feeling of like fluffiness and feeling like your body is retaining the water again. And I got on the scale just to like, you know, be honest with myself. And I was 182.6 on Monday. And so that is like a gain of about three pounds since the last time I did a weigh in video for you guys. And it made sense. It made complete sense. I'm not I'm not like super mad at myself. It, it was just like, that's what it is. That's what happens when you go off, you know, your diet and you go off plan and you have some fun. But then you just get right, you get right back on it. You go right back to, you know, living a healthier lifestyle and you, you try to be more consistent with that. So I feel pretty good today. It's day one of keto again, and we are going to be making a flatbread that I actually do want to show you guys. It's really delicious. I don't know if many people know this brand. They're called Cut to Carb. And I just want to show you the typical flatbread that I will make um, if I've really done a good job restricting my carb intake throughout the day. Because as you'll see, it's, it's roughly 12 carbs in total. Uh, so it's definitely not something that you would want to do if you're trying to stick to like the 20 carbs per day on the, the keto plan. But I do think it's an excellent meal to share with somebody and it just tastes delicious. This is the keto cut to carb bread where I put avocado, some Mexican cheese, and then some uh, chicken tenderloin that has been grilled up previously. 
Um, it is very, very good. I'll just cut this up and just eat it slice by slice. I also read this quote that was really inspirational. Um, I think I saw it on someone's Instagram or something like that. I don't know who it's, it's attributed to, but the quote said, I wrote it down here, being on a diet is hard. Being overweight is hard. Choose your hard. And I don't know why guys, that like really, really resonated with me because sometimes when I go off a diet or I choose to indulge, there is a small part of me that thinks, man, this is easier. This is like fun. I wanna be able to eat French fries. I wanna be able to eat chicken strips. I wanna be able to drink as much as I want and not worry about the calories or the carbs. Like I want to be happy with my life. So why not just like live live with this sort of indulgence and this carefree attitude. But when I do that, I'm overweight and I'm I'm miserable. Like I am miserable. I am not myself when I'm overweight. It's it's this feeling of total discomfort in your own skin. And that's hard too. So it's just like a matter of choosing which hard path I want to go down right now. And right now it's going to be limiting my desire to eat foods that make me overweight. That's the hard that's the hard path. But the payoff for me is feeling more comfortable in my own skin and feeling like I am in somewhat control of my life and not addicted to the carbs that I'm eating and the processed sugar and you know everything that really just like causes and causes pain and can wreak havoc in your life. So that's the path that I chose on Monday at least. Uh, so I have been good all week up until this weigh-in, which I'm really proud of myself. It is sometimes difficult to get right back into keto after you, you're you not doing it for a couple of days. But I managed to get into ketosis by day three. And then yesterday, I blew into my little keto pen. I'll show you guys. So I'm at level three, which means that I'm I, it's a medium level of burning ketones, which is great. So I'm burning some fat right now. I'm in ketosis, which is awesome. I really do think having done... Uh, keto for those 12 weeks, my body, I think, is better able to get right back into keto into ketosis. And I, I did not go through that like dreaded keto flu. So I'm, I'm really glad I did the 12 week like keto reset. So that's just me like reporting on how my body has adjusted to keto and uh, how easy it's become to like get right back into it. So the weigh in for this morning da, la, 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 is 180.2. So <laughs> I lost I lost a little bit of what I gained, but I'm still I, I'd like to see, you know, the 170s again. So I'm going to work hard this next week to try to get back under 180. I want to see that number again on my scale here. Um, and so to do that, I'm going to start tracking again. I'm going to start writing down what I'm eating, the calories and the carbs. I am going to exercise at least three times during the week. Um, since I've been here, it's been a lot harder to just get into a regular exercise routine where I'm exercising every day. So a compromise is just at least three times a week, go for at least an eight mile bike ride. That's what my friend and I have committed to. That's what we're going to do. So that will hopefully help. I'm going to drink more water. I have not been drinking enough water here. I've been drinking more soda than water. And I just, soda is just not, it doesn't make me feel good. I don't know why I keep drinking it. It's because it's there. So I'm going to try to drink more water than I drink soda. Maybe just limit soda to maybe like one can every like three days or something like that. Make it a treat. Not sure. I'm working on it. So yeah, if you guys have any tips on just how to stay on track, I would love to hear them below if you made it this far. And if you are also on a health journey, please let me know. I would love to find your channel if I'm not already subscribed. Comment below and I will click on it and sub. And I hope that you all uh, stay committed to your goals. And I will see you all next week.